Good morning, Internet. Welcome back to Bunny Hall and Making a Life by the Sea. And today we have an interesting project. If you see this large tree here in the background, this has been here for many years. And unfortunately, this winter it has passed. Um, you can see it's actually not that large of a tree. I'll stand next to it. However, it's been here as long as we can remember. When we used to stay in the boathouse in the early 2000s, it was still here. And even though it's a pine, it used to cast shade for bunnies hydrangea, which is languishing in the sun. So the goal today is for my husband to sharpen his blade of the chainsaw, which I'll show some footage of that and he is going to try to take this tree down. We probably should hire someone to do it, but we have done trees before, so we shall see. So that is the project for today, and we had a lovely, lovely rain last night. So the newly planted flowers here are doing quite well. And yes, I know I have so many more weeds to get out, but I'll do a few weeds here and then pick another section and clear it out and add more plants, take out more weeds. And just to remind ourselves, even though this is but a small garden that I've started with many more weeds to pull and more garden to make, we can stop and look out here and know that this is definitely why we stay here and why we put up with what we do. So I'm not sure how the day will go. Let's sharpen a blade cut a tree and see what the day brings. And I also have to have time to edit everything too, so. Day five of vlogging, let's see where we end up. Now maybe I'll do all the hard work that's about to happen sped up to some music, so cue music. If only I could do that in real life. Oh well, off we go. Lest we forget, a view of the tree prior to our cutting it down. Here we are in our living room, uh, looking out to the sea and where the tree currently sits. 
and uh, I'm sorry, it's so dark. The contrast is so high. But oh, and this window, which is fogged, is actually not dirty. It is simply a fogged window because the seal is broken. These windows, as all the windows in this house, were put in in 1950, and they all need repair and replacement. And they have also been through two hurricanes, including Hurricane Bob. So that's a project one day, when we can afford it. But for now, let's just look at the sea and the last look at Grease pine tree that she loved so dearly, which is now being taken down. And yes, before we go, I have to show my funny mermaid statue. There she is, basking in the sunlight, relaxing amongst my decorating books on English houses, <laughs> enjoying what I wish I were doing. But instead, we are cutting trees, hauling wood, and doing the usual things we have to do to make a life here by the sea, living at Bunny Hall. So let's continue on. And here's my husband, Nathaniel, sharpening the chainsaw blade, one rung at a time. And you will notice he is a pipe smoker, which I love. My favorite grandfather, uh, the person for whom which I am an avid gardener, smoked a pipe. And every time Nathaniel lights up a pipe, I can recall my grandfather and the wonderful walks we took in his large garden. He grew acres of flowers and plants. And really, he's one of the inspirations for my love of gardening today. Well, here we are at the end of this day. We have sharpened a blade and we, I say we, my husband cut down a tree and he cut it into bits and we hauled and hauled. And again, I wish in real life the way I share the uh, quick animated way we cut down a tree and stack it up. Oh, how I wish that could happen in real life. <laughs> but anyway, here we are at the end of the day. Well, it's actually only mid midday, but the end of my day for recording so I can also edit because I'm trying to get editing in at the same time. So uh, today the tree was cut. Uh, now more sun will shine on Bunny's poor hydrangea, so we'll have to do something about that. However, the view actually does look much brighter. Uh, it's odd to see it from inside now. It didn't really block it before, but now it feels so much more open. So that is... Uh, so this is day five, I believe, of our vlog. So, I'm going to try to take a moment, have some tea, and put on a dress to relax enjoy a bit of the afternoon and then we will probably continue to put things away as you probably can see nate in the background is uh still raking up and picking up the last of the tree so and we'll probably have a fire tonight with some of that wood but for now let's pour a cup of tea be glad of the work we did today and uh thanks again for joining me here at bunny hall making a life by the sea uh, I'm not sure what we'll do tomorrow. Actually, tomorrow, if it doesn't rain, I'd like to show you where we were hauling the wood. That's an interesting vlog in and of itself. We'll see how that goes. Until then, have a good one.